Alonzo. Yes, sir. Let's jump right into it, man. Two police officers uh, ambushed while they're sitting in their police cruiser. Do you think this is going to continue with the current climate that we're in? You know, um, I hope not, man. You know, it's really a shame that we have to even come to this kind of situation. For some reason, you know, the police, some police have this us or them attitude, us against them attitude. I'm trying to figure out how is this us against them when us pays your salaries and us, for the most part, don't have none of the weapons that you have. Well, we do, but we don't carry them around. Most of us don't carry them around. And all we want to do is go home, okay? Your interaction with the average person is probably one of the most stressful things that can happen to an individual, especially if, if you ain't, you know, you're not doing anything to, to uh, attract that. And when you get harassed and you find yourself catching a case or some other stupidness because some, some egotistical cop is escalating the situation to make it unbearable or make it more to his advantage where he can put you in a situation, it's really, uh, it's really disturbing, man. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot for a real man to eat the shit that cops give you sometimes for no reason, dude. And to, to a, for a person that's experienced that on a more than, more than, more than one occasion, it, it, it takes a lot, man. It's like, you know what, dude, I got, I want to go home to my family. I don't want to bother with you and I got to do what I got to do to get home. And if I got to take your bullshit because it's two o'clock in the morning or we, 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 we in a dark street, I got to do that, man. You know, this is not the place for that. And I've been, I've been accused. I've been arrested for shit. And um, you understand why these kind of things happen. You, you understand. You don't want to see them happen, but you understand how they happen, man. You, you, you understand. I can't say I'm happy for that by no means. I would never say that. That's not, that's, not, that's not my position. I feel for both cops. But on the same token, cops have to learn that we are people too. Just because we don't carry a badge and a gun don't make us less human, man. That guy that they shot in the back on 108th and Broad, 109th and Broadway, he had family, man. Uh, Jacob, he had family. He had kids. So it's like only kids matter is your kids. My kids don't matter. And when you have that attitude that my life doesn't matter, black, brown, white, because it's, it's happening to white people. It happens to white people just like we do, just like it happens to us. Um, it's really hard to sympathize or empathize when this kind of stuff happens because some people just don't have the wherewithal to deal with it and not respond in a negative way. Mm, yeah. My thing is it bothers me that you have to go to school to be a hairdresser longer than you have to go to train to be a police officer. That's right, Doc. That absolutely got to be a hairdresser is nine months plus an internship, uh, six months and some classes, night classes, you can get a gun in the badge. If you can, if you can carry a gun, if you can run up the hill and carry a gun, it's harder to be a fireman than it is to be a cop. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to be a and they sit around ninety, and they sit around ninety percent of the time. Thank you. It's harder to be a. My son has try, been trying to be a fireman for the last five years, and he's catching hell trying to be a fireman. I bet you, if he wanted to get a gun in the badge, he can have a job in six months. Really? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. He's been training for. He was training for a fire for the fire department. He got. He graduated in two. Uh, when he was twenty five, he's thirty one now, and he's been trying and trying and trying. He's got a couple. He got a couple calls now. Finally. But it's harder to get on a on a um, Squad fire department than it is the police department. Interesting. Wow. Let me ask you. Let me flip it a little bit. If your son, one of your sons, your daughter, you know, came to you and said, "Dad, I want to be a police officer," what would you say? I would say, "Go for it, man." Mm -hmm. I would say, "Go for it." I have family. In, I have family in law enforcement right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some of the shit they tell me say, "Man." If I wasn't a cop, I'd kick a cop's ass I work with. <laughs> if I wasn't a cop, I'd kick their ass my damn self. Okay. You you got you you, you gotta understand, man. You got some guys with badges, man, that have some serious emotional and ego problems that pass the test and pass pass the physical test 
and passed the test for six months to qualify to be a cop. Okay. And, you know, at one point in time, uh, it was even said that when, when Baca was in office that he was letting people pass, pass, uh, go through that wasn't qualified to be cops. They couldn't pass wow. the test. It was, it was a known fact that he let a few people in the, uh, get through one of the things he got, he got in trouble for. He let people, people get through the ranks that shouldn't have got through. Your new boy was in uh, Villa, Villa, Villa Weaver, Villanova. Uh-huh. He, he brought guys in that was fired. Okay? Guys that had been fired from the police department, from the, from the sheriff's department, he brought them back in. Guys that had, you know, had, uh, had whatever kind of cases they had. And then and here's the next part you, that, that's really disheartening, man. When you see situations like uh, L.A. Sheriff goes into a house that he just left uh, a, a scene of a murder and go rob the house. When the cop go rob the house. This happened last week. Wow. Cop goes to a, yeah. to a house, find a dead body, goes back and go starts d- going shopping on the dead man's stuff and his family see- sees him on the, uh, on the uh, security cameras. Wow. But all he, so far all he got, is, uh, all he got was a uh, Paid leave, which is nothing but a vacation. Wow. Yeah, so, exactly. Right. Paid leave. Come on paid now. leave. Get, send me home with pay. Come on now. Send me home with pay. So when you see this kind of stuff, man, it's it's kind of apparent that, that there's a, a circle of protection that that the police have that we don't have. You know, uh, when I when I read the Brianna case, uh, I, I checked on the Brianna case. They didn't mention nobody getting shot in the case. Not in their report. There was no there was no mention of her in their report. Really? Yeah. It wasn't until later on they, they, they found out that, you know, that uh then then here the cold part, now that they all messed up, they tell homeboy, you we'll drop the charges against you if you say Bri- Brianna was the uh the ringleader of your organization. Huh? So that's gonna ju- justify them shooting her through the window. An unarmed person in their bed oh, gets shot man. through the window, and you try to figure out a way to cover your ass. Come on, man! How do you have how do you have faith in something like that, dude? Let's keep it one hundred. How do you have faith in something like that? You know, you want you want people to yeah. to trust you and trust you, submit to your commands, but you don't know what you're submitting to until it's too late. It could be a regular regular dude just want to go home to his family, or some cat with a with a, with a, with a some kind of vendetta against black men. 